This video is about how to connect the Acurus ACT4 20 channel immersive processor. First of all, make the power connection using the power plug on the right hand side of the processor. You'll note that there's a fuse holder in the middle and also a power switch. This switch is equivalent to removing power from the unit. Make sure that the switch is in the off position and then insert the supplied power cord. The ACT4 20 features 16 balanced XLR outputs, 14 on the bottom row and two more here and plus it provides in parallel the same signals are available in an RCA unbalanced format here all 16. To get to 20 channels the aux output here provides four additional balanced channels using a DB9 connector that is provided by Acurus. Plug in the XLR outputs using a high quality balanced connector. In order to utilize outputs 17 through 20 on the ACT4, the AUX output is used along with a balanced DB9 to XLR converter cable. Acurus provides this cable and it's called a Tetra. The Tetra cable consists of a DB9 female four XLR males and markings on the cable that correspond to the outputs listed in the manual AUX1, AUX2, AUX3, AUX4. Simply connect the DB9 to the AUX like so and connect the four male XLRs to your power amplifier. The ACT4 features a phono input which can be upmixed into any immersive surround speaker layout. The phono input is located here, it's I-15. It's got two unbalanced RCA inputs along with a ground lug for phono setups that require an external ground. Simply plug in a high quality RCA cable to connect to a turntable for the phono input. On the ACT420 channel, I-16 is a balanced output but it can also act as an input. Select the input or output mode using the settings in the front panel and use a female to female balanced adapter in order to use it as an additional input. The F420 features three pairs of unbalanced analog inputs along with a 7.1 analog input that can come from a Blu-ray player or any other source that's got its built-in decoding. The ACT420 channel features three unbalanced analog inputs plus it also features an 8-channel input which can be used as an input from a legacy 7.1 output from say a Blu-ray player. Simply connect a high-quality RCA cable to any of these analog sources. The F4 features three optical inputs. To use one of the optical inputs, simply remove the plug and plug in your source device. There are also three coax digital inputs, which can be connected with a high-quality RCA mono cable. Some theater setups would require an IR input for a remote IR sensor, especially if the Act 4 is located outside the line of sight of the theater. For that purpose, we've included an IR input. You can also obtain an IR sensor from Acurus that would plug into this input and allows for a remote control from the theater directly. Some control systems may use a 12 volt trigger output to power the theater. We provide a 12 volt trigger input on the processor that can be used for that purpose. Simply connect a eighth inch stereo cable between the ACT4 trigger input and the control system. The ACT4 features four trigger outputs to control external amplifiers and automatically power them on with assignable delays based on powering on the processor itself. Simply use a high quality eighth inch stereo trigger cable plugged into each of these outputs. For ethernet control, plug into the ACT4's ethernet connector 
note that you should make this connection while the unit's powered down because as soon as it powers up, the Ethernet connection negotiates its DHCP address automatically. The F420 channel features seven HDMI inputs and two outputs, with output two being the primary or the main output to feed the display. Plug into any of these seven with a high quality HDMI cable. The F4 also features two charging ports, and these charging ports are designed to feed USB power to devices such as streamers, which may require it. So in order to use, for example, a Chromecast, simply plug the Chromecast into the HDMI port you wish to use, and then plug the USB connection here to provide power to the Chromecast. The F4 features two outputs. Output 2 is the main output and supports HDCP 2.2 along with all of the inputs. Output 1 is really just designed as a confidence output to feed a panel in the equipment rack for troubleshooting. It's not intended to be used as a permanent output for the installation. In order to connect to the output, use a high quality HDMI cable. Be sure to connect on a directional cable the side that says source to the Act 4. That concludes this video about connecting the Act 420 channel. Thanks for watching. If you have any additional questions, please consult the user guide or feel free to contact your Accurus rep directly.